Welcome everybody back to All About the Orville Comments, Episode 7, Majority Rule. And this was such a good episode. I knew we got over 100 comments on this video. Oh, yeah, so lot. we're going to try to work our way through most of them. Yeah. And I, as a pre preface, I'd have to say that some of the stuff got a little um, political. Yeah. And it's like, mm, we're kind of getting away from... Relate your comment to the subject of the show. Yes, the Electoral College. Yes, wearing, you know, clothes. Yes, I did mention it too, yeah. Yeah, we did mention it, but then... As the conversation back and forth kept going, we started straying further and further away from the actual yeah. show. And you know what? You know, I'm not going to read those comments. They're, they're on there. I didn't delete anything. So if you guys are interested in that back and forth, it's I'm still on sure there. I'm pretty sure Crimson replied all you yeah, guys. Yeah, I replied it to I think most of them, say everyone. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna start up right here with um, we start with the top comments and then we work our way down. Again, I apologize if I mess up your usernames, but um, Ibiz Ferdinand. Great episode. Miminal jokes felt like a true dramatic sci-fi serial. I saw the concept explored in an episode of Dark Mirror, but the way the Orville treated the concept was great. The Orville has found its stride. Hope we see more like this. Um, yeah, a lot of people brought up this Dark Mirror thing, but I was on Twitter the same day this episode came out because a lot of people were tweeting that at. Well, because I think McFarlane, McFarlane yeah. was kind of getting irked with that. Everyone kept saying, Black Mirror, Black Mirror, Black Mirror. He's like, I wrote, I wrote this script years and years ago when I was trying to get this sold yeah. as a Trek show. And so I've had this written way before Black Mirror. Exactly. And I think people need to understand too, two people can come up with the same concept. Yeah. It's so, a I simple mean, concept. Yeah, it is, but it's done beautifully in this episode. Yeah, they did a super, they did a, and it wasn't, Black Mirror's fine and all, but they go super dark, super yeah. gritty, super, and this was something the whole family could watch. Exactly. So, and in the same thread, we have uh, Jeffrey Grimm. A modern subject for modern audiences. This is what a sci-fi is meant for. Cautionary tale about our society. The planet shows the dangers of a true direct democracy. Mob rule. Two wolves and a sheep voting for what's for dinner. Yep. I heard about the Dark Mirror episode, but I have not watched that series. By the way, the Truth Factory recent Halloween video is about the new Chinese government social behavior app. That's what's really scary. Yeah, we, we do see the parallels of yeah. this instant justice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, two wolves and a sheep. What do we have for dinner? Well, that's the rules. Well, is that fair? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. It isn't just majority doesn't make it the right thing. It doesn't make it the just thing either. Because people all, because in the end, it's instantaneous. All with the moment, the moment, the you're, moment. And so much feelings. Yeah. When you have all your emotions attached to something, you're yeah. going to just have that. You need to think about a situation. And there's no thinking when you just you put your vote, you're yeah, done. Yeah, exactly. You're done. And then we have uh, Will Adams. You have limited your examples to YouTube channels and web pages, but if you recall, there have been people whose lives have been destroyed by a post, and people who've lost their shot at the American dream, owning a business due to a bad Yelp review, or people who have lost their business due to SJWs being offended because of the business owner's stance on a subject was different from their stance that the SJW took. So this show points to stuff that is actually happening in our society today. This is also a warning as to why the founding fathers correctly created the electoral college, if America was a democracy and not a de and not and not a de democratic republic, then the mob rule and the minority opinion would be crushed. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, you come out and you say something, and it's on social media, and you find out you're, you know, connected to a business that can, that can destroy you. And you can because because and everyone agrees with it because people are like, well, I haven't been there since they've been there. They know that subject, particularly like. In certain movies that are anime related that really got destroyed by that, like Ghost in the Shell, by that very uh, stuff. Oh, yeah, and even, or just like, I remember there was a story, I know he let some um, examples here, but I remember there was a couple of women who had like a taco truck. Yeah. And they're two Caucasian women, and then they go, oh, they're not allowed to make tacos, they're not Hispanic or Latino. Well, does that matter? But they got shut down because no one went to their taco shop anymore. That's terrible. And it's just a stupid reason. They make good food, who cares? Yeah, exactly. But that would, that's that mob justice right there. Yep. We got. Transmit Engineer. The point they were trying to make with this episode is excellent. Re Real evening news doesn't come from the talking heads, MSNBC, Fox News, CNN, TV shows, but from the 30-minute nightly news is from the NBC, ABC, CBS, and PBS. Also, I'm so glad we live in a republic that we're representative government and not a direct vote by the people to pass laws. And that's the thing. If it was true, we'd have to vote on everything all the time. But you can't do that. That's impossible. It's, you, you can you can put on a referendum in local elections, and maybe they could do a one issue thing. But to do all every little thing, it, there's no way people. You know, it'd be ridiculous what we result. And the thing get. is, and where, where does it end? Why no. can't all the people in California vote for what people do in Arizona? Yeah, it never or why ends. can't California decide what people are doing in Maryland? It, it's because they yeah. have more people. Well, that, that that's why anything. we have that's why we have states. And then and then people. There's some people who bring up the electoral college, and we bring this up again. Like, we're getting away from the Orville, but yeah, I know. But the guy even brought up electoral yeah. college. 
went before. I, so, and but. the thing is, guys, we have states. Yeah. That's why we have an electoral college. Because if why not? Why aren't we just the United States and just literally no states and we're just one big giant thing? Well, that's why we don't do a direct vote system. And the people who were bringing this up, you weren't. There was one guy I could tell just by his argument style. He wasn't wanting to have a conversation about the electoral college. Yeah. He was there to stand on his soapbox box and just spout out what he wanted to spout out. Yeah. Uh, a very heavy-handed way of arguing. I would love to have an actual face-to-face argument because I think people that are really good internet arguers and uh, internet debaters, you're not so good in real life because there's no copy and paste no. in real life. And you gotta, you're not, you wouldn't talk that way to my face. You just wouldn't because no. you'd be rude. You you could articulate your points without saying you're stupid, you're dumb, uh, and saying all these big giant words that you you know one of your professors said. Just tell me what you think. Yeah. yeah, but again, getting back to the actual Orville, and I know there's a lot of social commentary, and it does come up, but I just get a little, well, I, my eyebrow raises when I see certain key words, like, yeah, that's a copy-paste. Yeah, but that's, but <laughs> that yeah, is that's what, what it is. Do. They want to read it because they're, we're talking about social commentary they don't want to talk about. Yeah. That's why. They want it to be like Discovery. So, Michael Aaron, 1701. The episode... This episode is the reason why Discovery is such a failure since Orville is doing Star Trek used to do society based around pc opinion polls is a prime bit of a allegoric discussion fuel but discovery would rather have horrible people wasting time going nowhere and wearing the skin of star trek without seeing if it's even the right dress size <laughs> to prevent tearing yeah and there's really nothing that's happened in discovery that made me feel like oh i can make that parallel to us no anyway not really I'm trying to think. We've seen every episode. You can check out our reviews. But yeah, um, the Orville is taking things that are happening today, tweaking them a little bit, putting them in a sci-fi world, but then we can kind of reflect on it. Oh, yeah. But it's not pointing fingers directly at anyone. No, like I said, when they say they do a little part and they move on. They do a little part and they move on. If they have any kind of, like if you want to say any like leftist agenda, they mention it briefly and they move on. It's not this long diatribe, oh, you're bad, you know, for doing X, Y, Z. So we have uh, Drake uh, Godzilla... What is this scene? <laughs> what is this CNN? I lost my and I love the Orville. Yeah, I'm glad you like that joke because it just kind of made me feel like they were so worried about people fact checking, but they're like, don't worry, they're not going to do yeah, it. Yeah, well, she said that that's true. They wouldn't do it. Who cares? They're not going to. The sensationalism when it's yeah. all your feelings in your heart, you don't need a fact check. Exactly. Because I oh, that's how I felt. I don't need to check my own facts. Like, exactly. So, so we're fun. It's great. The comedian Ryan Ian's he loses. He 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 makes a heck of a sci-fi writer. <laughs> so Michael Aaron, 1701. Given that Whoopi Goldberg was uh, Goldberg was Gina in Next Generation, it would have been a perfect fit for McFarlane. Could have gotten her in the episode as one of the hosts. Yeah, because she is a host of The View. But I don't think she'd ever. Done she it, wouldn't though. have done it because it's a it's a reflection on herself. Yeah, I would have been if she did. She probably would have got some credit for it. She would have got some respect for me. That, that, I'll tell you that that whole scene where she goes, she where the, one of the hosts stands up and hits the down vote. I just had to do that. Turn to the camera. Oh, praise me! And the other girl goes, "You go, girl." Oh, There's so much of that crap crazy. on the internet and oh, that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so brave. Bull crap. You're not brave oh my uh, that literally that part it made my blood boil because it's that oh i'm looking at me but when why didn't you do it when no one was looking no i had to do it in front of an audience it was the last time you've ever seen that presented in a negative connotation no it's always a positive always positive that that's the problem so uh lumpy space cadet again lumpy space princess you get a great uh avatar there i'm fearing this show will get canceled because some powerful hollywood snowflakes are going to start really hating this awesome show you know what? I, funny you mentioned that. Funny you mentioned that because it did just get renewed for a new season this morning. Yep. And that was all over Twitter. So, hooray, more over. Only 13 episodes the first season. Oh, good good uh, confidence in the show, Fox. Only 13 episodes. And the thing is, yeah. But again, there's some self-reflection here. Yeah. It's okay to self-reflect. And it's done in a satirical kind of way. And you have to realize, yeah, it is. we do kind of have this world where people are getting bullied into being political and being bullied into doing things. There is a, an amazing artist named uh, Ethan Van Skyver. Just a he does stuff for Green Lantern, DC and stuff. Oh, yeah. Amazing work. And he just talks about his comic books. And I follow him on Twitter and he's constantly being berated with, well, what do you think about this character's uh, their, their politics? He's like, I just want to sell comic books. Yeah. I don't want to go to... And, they, and it's nonstop. You have to make... Not only do you have to make a political stance, you have to make the right political stance. That's a problem. Stance. You have to make the right one. They don't want to hear the wrong answer. Oh, I want to hear what Ethan Van Skyver has to think about the subject because I want to get a different viewpoint and see... No. Do you want to know if I'm allowed to like you? Yeah. Because if you don't like x y and z oh i'm not allowed to like you that's insane that's just crazy just look at this guy's amazing artwork and just leave it at that no they can't though yeah but those that's the those that big hollywood type yep so we got uh uh fcold again i'm seeing a lot of recurring commenters and that's great i like it earth may not have the money but there's been some type of trade 
between other cultures so they would be aware of the concept. But maybe it's all done on credits or something. Also, the publicist was a bad publicist as Lamar should have been coached to seeing the praises of the pioneer lady and say he was trying to help a friend learn to dance and lost his mind. So Aja could have just hacked the system to only count one of every so many thousand votes and added up votes. Again, I think what they were trying to do is they were trying to play by their rules. Yeah. And the, and the thing is, you want to talk about the publicist, what I think it is, I don't think he was intentionally bad. I think he was just as vapid as everyone else. He's so superficial, he wouldn't have thought and about that. And he was that court appointed attorney. Yeah. So he probably has a thousand cases on yeah, his... Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't yeah, I don't think he did it to be malice. No, I just think that's how, just how competent but he, he is. But, but even then, he didn't want to sound off his condescending, oh, I love the pioneer and uh, that lady, and then like, oh, why did you do what you did? See, it's that weird epic Yeah, because he's even, he's, that's a society. You can't, he has to be a certain way. Yeah. See that? See and, that goes in that commentary. And the too. whole Isaac could have just hiked, hacked everything. I thinking they were playing by their rules. Yeah. Well, we'll give them vapid material to change their minds that way instead of just straight up hacking it. Yeah. I'm I'm wondering if Isaac had a thing this if it would have went over the ten that was a ten million. Ten million. Or, yeah. That he would have like did something because would they have let him get basic basically killed? You're not really killed, but you're. Well, Kelly had that transporter just yeah. ready to grab and they transport both of them out of there. I don't know. Uh, I just think, yeah, they were trying to play by their rules the best way they can. Yep. So, uh, time like 01. Of course, the planet is a SJWPC paradise, but one problem with such a paradise is that it could backfire on those who support it. That's why free speech is for everyone is important. If you decide to ban speech you don't like, speech you do like will end up getting banned too. Yep, exactly. exactly. That's what we've been saying too. But this, this came on later on. There's another comment there was talking about, uh, you know, uh, native headdresses. If, you know, there are people aren't allowed to wear it. What if, a hundred years from now, someone thinks all Native American stuff is offensive and they get rid of everything because you just offended that person. Yeah. That's why you can't do it. That's why it's either everything's allowed or nothing's allowed. Yeah, exactly. And even people who do the most racist stuff, I won't like you. No. I think you're scum if you were if you put on the whole red face and did all that. Yeah. That's awful. But you have a right to Guess do what? it. Guess what? I'm not going to invite you to my birthday party. No. I'm not going to be your friend, but you have every right in the world to literally be an idiot. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? I'm going to err on the side of personal liberties. 99.999% of the time. Yeah, I've even used the analogy before um, off podcasts. Like, the, I guarantee if the village people would have came out now, they would have got mad that one dressed like the Indian. They said, oh, look at him. He's, you know, yeah. he shouldn't be wearing that. It's fun and silly. There was nothing bad about it, you know? He wasn't being just, again, like what we people would bring up in sports about yeah. like the Redskins, the, mm -hmm. the Washington Redskins. They want to win games. Yeah, they they're wearing the colors in the and they have the war chief on their helmet because they want to win. Yeah, they're, they're actually actually it was based off of a, a, on a coach from back in the thirties who was Native American and they're honoring him. So people don't even know the history behind. And it. And the thing is, they're not some silly joke team that loses no. games on purpose. Oh look, we're the silly Indians and they're being yeah. stupid. I mean, no, they want to win. Yeah. Okay, now the, the the logo of the Cleveland Indians they can do it, but I don't like yeah, it. The Chief that, Wahoo's a little a little, a little much. But the man looks proud. I don't know what the problem is with the Redskins or the Florida State Seminoles. I know we're going off subject yeah, here. Yeah, but, but it's a, because the, it did come up in the comments later on. Yeah. But uh, here we go. We got that. Uh, let's see. One more. Uh, Francisco Cavallaro. Excellent review, guys. I can't add much to all the insightful points on the gist of this episode. But I can add that something hit me after watching the episode and being half asleep, half awake today. I noticed the episode started off with the coffee girl. I can't remember her name. I don't remember her name either. Yeah. Started with her and ended with her, much like an exposition of an essay. Yeah, you kind of, you know, you have your thesis statement, then you end kind of repeating your... Yeah. Like, it started with her and ended with her. Or, like, also like an essay, like, saying, oh, look, I'm doing the starting the essay, and at the end, you learn more, and you wise yeah, up from that she, essay. Yeah, she did, she did wise up. Yeah. And develop, recap, and the conclusion. Nicely done. I yeah. also heard music. Very ST, uh, Next Generation feeling. And that that I felt the music reminded me of the movie To Kill a Mockingbird. Same kind of sweet music. Then it hit me. The second episode of about a girl, the courtroom scene where Kelly and Commander Mercer showed that it was possible to be a female and not be a worthless re recluse. But the Malklins fell, fell back on the traditions and, more, and morals. Much like the Atticus Finch proving that Tim Robinson didn't rape uh, Mary El Elwell, but the court sided with the racist misconceptions and still sided with the guilty verdict. Is Seth MacDrawn paying homage to Harper Lee? The thing is, but in the, the Killing Mockingbird, it took him a while to get yeah. to that conclusion. Yeah. And that's even Atticus Finch gives, you know what? Even though we lost this case, they thought about it. And you know what? Maybe we're taking that that's one the step. That's with, with the girl, exactly. Yeah. They lost in the end. You make that one lost. extra step, you yeah. know? Atticus, he's like, oh man, the Killing Mockingbird is so great. To set a watchman, just throw that in the trash. <laughs> if anyone knows the, the, the two books, I, I'm sorry that 
that Harper Lee, that was just a mistake, that whole book. You can look that up and see the whole, yeah. I want to say, it wasn't conspiracy, but it was like it was done very sloppily. Yeah, she was on her deathbed. Yeah, she was on her deathbed and signed off on it. She didn't even know what she was signing off on. It's terrible. But so just stick to Kill a Mockingbird, and again, the, the parallels are there. Yeah. Even though they, quote unquote, lost, maybe they made someone think about it. Maybe they take one more step, just like at the end of this episode, instead of voting, she just turned off the TV. Yeah. Maybe she did, one person made one extra step. Exactly. And the music, again, the music is very next generation. Yeah. It is. And also... Um, the music cues. Oh, yeah, exactly. And also, I know this is kind of silly to see, but you can watch the entire thing of Killing Mockingbird on the Darkness, the video game. <laughs> yeah, it's an old video game on the Xbox 360. You can literally sit and watch the whole I thing. I did. I did just to be stupid. You get an achievement and, for it. <laughs> yeah, I think the achievement was the main reason why you did it. Yeah, I know, but it's silly, though. It's silly. <laughs> so, uh, we got uh, David Tubb. Best anti-globus-themed storyline ever. Yeah, this... The, well... In other countries, to do it this way. Well, we're not that country. No. I, every time I bring that up, every time that argument of, well, everywhere else in the world does it this way, guess what? America is special because we're not every other no. country in the world. It's funny when you think about it because, in a weird, it's a kind of just position of another tyranny because it's tyranny of the majority. Yeah. So usually most of the tyranny is just one person controls everything, but this is a tyranny of everyone. So it's funny how both get to that same, you know, road at the end of the time. At the end of the road, I should say. So. Yeah, we're, that's, that's, that's the thing, guys. We're the United States of America is the experiment. Yeah, we're the thing. We're the thing that they, let's do things differently. Yeah, anomaly. Put yeah. the power in the hands of the people. Yep. Again, and because when people. everyone who says who wants this popular vote thing, they kind of want a monarchy. They kind of yeah. want a king. Yeah. Well, this one this thing, they decide everything. No, yeah, that works fine in the state level for senators and congressmen because it's one state. That's yeah. fine because the state, there's pretty much people are going to be the same in the state, pretty much. There's not going to be vast differences. Yeah, at least it shouldn't. That the lives of people in North Dakota are going to be different from the lives of the people in Florida. Yeah, exactly. yes, that we have common goals and common aspirations, but there's certain things that just they're just we're different. They're different yeah. That's why it's a, a cobbled together a bunch of little states. Could you imagine little countries all working together like this, the way it does in the United States? It would it'd be constant wars. Yeah, but somehow this this experiment is working. Oh, it was man. Then again, and I know a lot of people wanted to smash that with the hammer, but you know what? Yeah. I, I like the way it is. I'm sorry. And again, um, uh, Deken74, yeah, I know you've done other comments in the past, and this is where we kind of got into the Native American stuff. The I'll leave the comments there if you guys want to look at it, but then we kind of have a big long back and forth about the whole Native American headdress yeah, stuff. Yeah, but we already, we, we touched Yeah, on I it, talked so. about it, so it's there if you guys want to see it. Uh, Phantom Knight, did anyone make the connection that Isaac was flooding the feed with fake news, swaying public opinion? So yeah, hashtag fake news. <laughs> but that was the thing. It works though. It does. Because it was all vapid, tug at the heartstrings BS that would sways people's little mini votes. Yes, that would have been a point that I might have not have liked if you think of the whole fake news up. Because I believe me, I don't like fake news. But I think at the end, it's a little different because they're trying to save someone's life. Yeah. You know, because he whatever would have been lobotomized. He would have been... Oh, yeah. hello. What's they would have fixed on? them. Yeah, fixed yeah. them. I bet they, yeah, yeah, they do exactly. a real good job at that. So when it's someone's someone's left on the line, I kind of give it. I don't mind it so much. But most of the time we talk about fake news, yeah, I know what you're Yeah, doing see, but that's the thing. Like, yo, look, he's playing with the dog. What does that have to do with what he did? Nothing. But well, it it's all me... vapid. It's yeah. all vapid. It just goes to show you how easily vapid the, the society is. Yeah. So, uh, Max Bootstrap. Orville Season 1, Episode 7 is quite good. In a way, a direct opposite of Star Trek Discovery. Why? Because Star Trek Discovery is openly, directly, offensively pro-PC SJW. Why Orville clearly showed how horrible PC SJW identity politics approaches are. Great job, Orville. Exactly. It, you yeah. see these two shows? Which one seems to be the more brighter outlook and makes you want... Do you, Where do you want to live? Would you rather live on the Orville as a crew member or do you want to be on the Discovery? I, I, I want to be, I I want to be on the Orville. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't believe I'm... I would rather not be in a Trek universe. That's crazy. I want to be a Trek universe without Discovery. And can I do that? I, don't, I want to be DS9. That's what I want to be at. And then we got to uh, say Max Bootstrap and then the whole, oh, democracy is a form of slavery, blah, blah, blah. That whole, that whole concept. We got to have some roles. Yeah. There is, again, people like to think when I... Like, oh, you don't want any regulations or any... Oh, no, I do. But there needs to be an ebb and flow. You can't have so much regulation. That's when you become nice. the burden... Of the government's on you. Well, from 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 like when it comes to certain years of our governments, we've had regulations that are double, triple the same thing. You don't need that many, and we have so many OSHA's and other groups, and we it's redundant. You got you got to cut down on that. I know we're getting away from the episode, but but it, it does play it again yeah. again a lot of politics in these comments. But that's just kind of the flow. But yeah, yeah we got to get every single time I I feel myself going that way, I got to steer the ship, steer the yeah. ship. Yep. Okay, going through some more comments. We did. We got a bunch from uh. Uh, Nibadon Adams. 
A crossover between the Orville and Star Trek continues. The crew of the Orville get caught in some kind of Nero Nero applause, and they end up on the Star Trek Continued Universe. Yeah, let's have a let's have a crossover episode. How funny could that be? That'd no, be great. I don't think I don't so, think they would ever do it. I mean, McFarlane would love it, but they would never do it. It's so funny. It's one of those things side. where it's like McFarlane would be like, "Yeah, let's do this. Let's do some temporal time rift thing and make it happen." But describing CBS would be so against no, it. No, 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 no. I Fox and I think Orville would love it, but they would never do it. Uh, same same uh, commenter. Let us remember in the episode we are shown a few scenes of how the upvoting culture is inoculated at a very young age into the mind of every child. When they turn 18, they get their very own badge, a real one, not like the toy one they grew up with. And it's like a solemn rite of passage. It would be fine to blame, <laughs> dry hump Abraham Lincoln at a memorial. You might get arrested. But imagine how people would react on Twitter. And then they'd multiply that times 7 billion. It seems very plausible. Perhaps that's why this episode is especially chilling, nerve-wracking for me. Yeah, it's like this is something that this society, the lady brought up. Yeah, once you turn 18, you get like your official badge. The only thing I the only thing I will say about it is I'm glad they don't do it to kids under 18. That's the only redeeming quality. Of yeah, they like, you do, imagine? Just, yeah. You were 14, 13, forget it. Again, a lot of people, again, we didn't even touch on this, but like, oh, when you're 13, 14 years old, the kids want to make these life altering decisions. You're 14 years old. Yeah. Do your freaking homework. You're again. I've always told people who make that argument: when you were 12 years old, what decision did you make in your life then that literally you've carried through your whole entire life? Very few things. Yeah, exactly. You're There's core to. values that you have, but we're not talking that. We're talking yeah. a life altering, like it physically. You yeah. Know, so come on, eating. you're still just a kid, and I, I'm at least. Yeah, like you said, at least they waited till the people become 18. So at least your mind's yeah. a little more developed. Yeah, and another thing we didn't mention this before. I want to mention briefly. What about if you do murder? Is, yeah. what, does this apply? This 10 million rule? I mean, if you had all the superficialists, would you get away with it? See, there's so much more about this world I want to know about. Like a, like would a, that Ke- happen? Like a Casey Anthony. Yeah. Oh, look, she's such a cute uh, young woman. And even though she... I don't care anyone says that lady murdered her daughter. Yeah. But she, she was found not guilty. Isn't that kind of what happened? Yeah. Wouldn't this be the opposite problem? Yeah. See, I would like to see... And just, I know that wasn't the case of the episode. There's so much... I wanted them to go back to this planet. I really do. I want to see down the line if anything's changed or is it going to be this kind of vapid culture that's going to... And, and we didn't know, was this planet... Is this a planet-wide thing or just one country on this planet? I'm not thinking it's a planet-wide thing. But they didn't really... Million. Yeah, they didn't really... Yeah, it was 10 million. You know, yeah. I don't know. But guess what? I don't I don't think I can ever recall, uh, you know, any of... So far, there haven't been any, but if they wanted a planet's discovery, I wouldn't be like this. I wouldn't be like, I want to know more about this planet. And, it, planet. and you bring that up when we talk about discovery they haven't been to any planet no. except for they showed vulcan for about three seconds and then that desert planet it's all, it's all in space it's all been on the ship that's not Star yeah Trek. come on let's do some let's do some uh what i want to say exploring but uh yeah. b- back to the comments we have timothy neeson uh nelson anyone get a slatter's vibe from this episode this reminds me of the saw attack when they tried to shame you for changing also when harry lost the election it proves why the popular vote isn't how we elected president to office again remember that show sliders yeah the, i remember it vaguely but i i can't recall any particular well, there was one an episode i remember uh one of the guys he was running for office but men weren't allowed to have office so that's kind of like not this episode particularly but that kind of theme you know saying i like, decided gets to decide this so it must be right you know kind of thing and if anyone doesn't know what sliders is it was basically did they have a machine that opened the up? machine to different earths like it was a uh, parallel universe so they yeah. didn't travel anywhere it was just a different version of earth, earth a different yeah. version of earth they went to i remember one earth where it was like mathematics were like being smart was like being like the athletes yeah in their society so yeah that's how so there was different worlds like that which i thought was a cool show i only watched a few episodes it got canceled, but it was cool for what it was. So we have uh, EPA Rock. Great episode, while STD is still an STD. <laughs> no, it's disco. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have, remember, guys, we have to call it disco. CBS, you freaking stupid. It's never going to work. Okay, if you knew you had that in the first season, then you knew they were going to talk about then why'd you, call it, <laughs> why'd you call it Discovery then? Uh, 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 Wilford Hancock. Great video, guys, like always. It's sad to know that our country is headed in this direction at the moment. I'm not politically correct. I don't judge anyone. As for the parody of The View as depicted in the show, excellent. It shows how ridiculous the show is. Thank you for starting... St- uh, starting it, this nation is a re- stating this nation is a republic. I argue with a lot of people about that. I wonder if Lamar will get re re reprimed, put in this in his personal file for humping a statue on an alien planet. Yeah, you put it in his permanent record. Oh yeah, by the way, well, he went down to a planet. Well, what's that to say? I'll make sure he doesn't hump anything else. Okay, yeah. He's got a, a direct order from the captain. Stop <laughs> humping things. But yeah, that 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 you watch the view and it's just literally just it's the parodies yeah. is just a bunch of chickens. Just oh, yeah, it's it just. It's ridiculous. And you know what's so funny? I think the reason why, and I think Crimson mentioned this before, where I, uh, 
Lamar is doing good. Maybe he likes Katan. And he's trying maybe, to be... Maybe he's trying to be... Old I saw a little me. tiny bit of that. Well, maybe. I remember you mentioned that before, so maybe that's why. So even that reason was stupid. It was all stupid. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey Grimm, you have, you have been upvoted. Those who disagree will be corrected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right, too. You disagree with those who are thinking to a facility and wipe your mind. You can have different opinions, and that's what makes sci-fi great. You don't have to agree with what we say. I'm not going to... Again, there's another person who are going to... You're going to go and delete my, 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 my post. I'm not going to do that. No. Unless you go crazy and you start profanity and personal okay. attacks. I've only deleted Look, two comments. I have a scary thought. And I just thought of it right now as you were mentioning that. What if YouTube decided, oh, we're not going to ban your thing. We're going to do it by how many upvotes and downvotes you get. What if they started doing that? Because that's parallel to what this episode is. So we didn't do it. We didn't decide it. Yeah, because there could be some trolls sitting there, See, you know, that, making that, different accounts. That's a funny thing because I don't know how a lot of this background YouTube stuff, but our videos get monetized and demonetized constantly constantly i'll look at my videos in a little green thing like oh it's monetized later the day it'll be yellow and it'll say oh well, it's not suitable for uh ads and then later that day i'll go back to green and it'll just keep going back and yeah. forth can't they just make up the freaking mind is it monetized or demonetized i don't know how the system works yeah i don't know then we have um uh thebo gay I, i'm sorry t-h-a-b-o-g-a-e how does one dress like Barack Obama? One of you guys said if he dressed like him. I don't remember saying that. We were talking about Halloween costumes. I'm yeah. trying to remember. Again, I, I commented saying, hey, leave the timestamp so I can see what I said. And I'll stand by what I say. But I'm thinking we're talking about like, oh, you, why can't you be able to dress up like Barack Obama for Halloween? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Anyone can dress up like anybody. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. But for some reason, there's that word cold. Oh, you're not, you're not allowed to wear this. You're not allowed to wear that. No, you're allowed to wear whatever. As far as I'm concerned, you can wear whatever you want. You can be as offensive as possible. You can even be offensive to what I would think. Like, like we didn't bring this up in the episode, but to think about it. But there are art museums where they have artwork that is depicting Christianity with the most disgusting way you can imagine. I'm not oh, going to yeah. go into description no. because it's so foul and disgusting. But we're you talking, to do it. We're talking bodily fluids. Yeah. We're talking, just think of that and drawing pictures with said fluids. I think it's disgusting. I think it's yeah. highly offensive to me personally, but that person has every right in the world to do it and put it on display. Exactly. That's their business. Yep. Does, does, it, does it technically offend me? Guess what? I don't have to pay to get into that museum to go look at no. it. No. I don't have to like it. I don't have to tell people about it, but that's where it ends. But why is it only supposed to be one side and the other side you can just do it and just try to tarnish everything they don't like? See, that's why I don't like it. It's just so unfair and just see, so stupid. See, if it, if we lived in this world where, well, that offends me, that person can't do it. No, because a lot of people always talk about this. It always ends at their offense. Yeah. Well, as soon as I'm offended, that's when civil liberties go away. Yeah. No, you have your personal liberties to do whatever the heck you want as long as you're not forcing or hurting someone. Yeah. And hurting your feelings isn't hurting you. No. Unless, again, if that person wanted to have that art gallery in my house, okay, that's that's different. But if he wants to have it in a museum and they're willing to pay him millions of dollars to do it, what can I say? Yeah, exactly. And I don't want to get into like, oh, they shouldn't be getting tax money either, but that's a different issue. Yeah, that's a totally different issue. But again, no. you're allowed to... Do, say, make artwork, have expressions. No matter what it's about, you're allowed to do it. No. People may not like you, but yeah. you're allowed to and do it. And you're allowed to call them out on it, too. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly why. No. So we have uh, Billy Deerhead. An entire society based off the idea of popular or die certainly does sound absurd. But what about a society based around having money? Imagine a society where everyone always has to have money to buy everything. And this goes on and on and yeah, on about okay, like being this anti-capitalist kind of thing. But we got to have something. Yeah. We, again, in the world of track and in the Orville, they have replicate technology where money goes away when well, you can literally have anything you want. Yeah, well, I think on the, on the, on the I am, I'm probably going to butcher, I think what it's called the, 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 on the Kosky scale, they're a type two civilization. By then you have enough energy, you yeah. don't need money anymore. So you don't have to go to, you go to work because you want to better yourself. Yeah. You don't do it because you have to make yeah, money. You own a restaurant because even in a D, uh, D Space Nine, Cisco's father owns like a, you know, like a, a, Cajun, gum, a, gum, a Cajun gumbo, gumbo place. place it's in New Orleans. And yeah. there's no money, but he does it because he loves to do it. Yeah. Could you imagine how great that'd be? Everyone just did what they wanted because they love to do yeah, it. Yeah, they don't have to. Because even you can just go to Replicator and get food. You don't have to even go to this restaurant, but no. you want it to because you want to experience. You want the experience of sitting yeah, down, eating. have a waiter, take your order, that exactly. whole kind of thing. But that you're trying to think about it in today's world. Yeah. We, and the thing is, we, that's what makes sci-fi so great. Could you imagine where there were no starving children? No. Every disease, for the most part, has been eradicated. Yep. Everyone can just wake up like, hey, you know what? I want to learn something today. You can just walk into like uh, an institution of learning, and that's what your life is. Yeah. Bettering the human race. 
that's what I want in my science fiction shows. That's what Trek used to be, not anymore, but that's the whole thing. And then, you know, oh, if you have money and you get forced to work and you don't get paid enough, oh, okay, we're getting you know, you're getting, you're getting Yeah, getting I'm sorry. Thing. I appreciate the comment, but we're starting to get away from it. Yeah, you're, you're just there, oh, oh, money. So we got uh, Dragon Skunk. The episode went too far into the incomplacency side of the crew to find comedy. That is the first time the show writing irked me and it was a little too dumb for my taste you know what i thought the comedy was more downplayed i thought it was muted way yeah i thought muted. it was way less except for the whole oh look at me i'm dancing with the statue that's the only thing but even kelly in the show was like lamar get out the damn statue stop acting like an idiot yeah. so she even yeah, reacted uh, to his silliness oh, yeah, exactly and all the rest of the comedy was very I light love, i love i love when uh well, yeah, i love when mercer said i probably mentioned this in the previous podcast but he goes uh Oh yeah, make sure, Boris. Next time when it's like we have a guest, have some pretzels and water out here because I won't fail you. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a little <laughs> ten second joke, and it kind of made sense in the world. Yeah, but it's so stupid. <laughs> just write in the manifest. You have to give him an order. Yeah, no, I won't fail you. I just love that. <laughs> so uh, we got Green Machine. The series gets better week after week. I want the Orville twenty four seven with all new episodes. Hey, we got a new season. So yeah. Fox has been listening. Seth MacFarlane is very active on Twitter, and he's constantly interacting with the fans. Yeah. He does live tweets when the new episodes go live, but it's the Back East feed. It's Back East. So, so I like, don't watch it because I don't want to get spoiled. Yeah, we're an hour, we're an hour difference yeah. on that. So when, when the episode comes on in our area. So we have uh, Justin Forrest. This was the worst episode. It's just Ooh. a copy of the episode of Black Mirror. I love the Orville, but I'm starting to see a pattern. Pretty much every episode is a social commentary or trying to convey a message, which is fine every now and then, but I wish the Orville would dial it back. It started to feel a bit preachy. Wish... They would start focusing more on a solid sci-fi stories and world building. This episode makes me worry about the future of the Orville. And again, people bring up the Black Mirror thing, but he this story was written way before Black Mirror. Yeah, and you and right. two people can tell the same type of story. Yeah, and have again, it's not about who did it first, it's about who did it best. And I think the Orville did it better. Hey, Black Mirror just went too dark with it. it yeah, that's, went to a dark but that's place. but that's. You know what you're getting when you watch yeah, a Black okay, Mirror episode. Yeah. And then saying it was getting preachy or whatever, well, it shows you how Craig and when you want to convey a message, again, we'll show that conveys messages. How terrible, right? You kind of go to the, you take it to the limit, showing you yeah. look how far it can go. Yeah. And I also want to say, too, about the, the building. Yes, I want to see more world building, too, but we can have both. This, is, see, this series just started. Who knows what it's going to be? I think this is a seven, eight year series. I honestly believe that. So I don't, I don't see the problem where they can have these kind of episodes as long as it's done right and done in the way I think that could be kind of making you be thought provoking. I see no problem. Did it make with that. you think? And that's all. Yeah. That, that's the best part. And again, we have another commenter, uh, Charles uh, Hogue. Again, bringing up the Black Mirror thing. Maybe we've covered that over like five times now. Yeah. Um, I remember when we brought up the whole Black Panther thing, how a certain person on YouTube said they're not allowed to comment on yeah. it. I'm not going to call out people's youtube channels or anything like that or call out people directly you know i don't like doing that right. but the, just the very idea that you're not allowed to talk about something because you're not a particular race that's ridiculous. especially something that's entertainment yeah that's stupid come on stupid. you're especially the person that i'm talking about is a very high up there respected person when it comes to geekdom and it kind of really it kind of brought it down a notch in my book yeah. like really you're really not going to say, wow, that was an amazing trailer because it actually was an amazing trailer. And well, I can't like, comment it because I'm not black. No, that's stupid. That's beyond <laughs> stupid. You can comment on anything you want to. <laughs> um, here we go. Jonathan Earl. Episode 7 The Orville was like watching an episode from a sci-fi sliders. An episode from the sliders which the main characters slide into parallel worlds with ridiculous laws. This episode... Was not as good as episode 6, my favorite so far, but enjoy but enjoyable episode. When watching the first minutes of episode 7 before the intro, I thought I was on the wrong TV series. Yeah, because like, when you're seeing that other world, you're like, what the heck is this? But it starts but, off... But, but again, I trust Orville where I was going to take it in the yeah. right direction. I wasn't like... But that was a scary, like, oh my goodness, what are we doing? What's going on? But Orville, I give them the benefit it's gonna, of the doubt. Gonna, they're going to always tie it back in. Yeah. So we have uh, Cross. Like we know, uh, like we know, Isaac can make hard light emitters to change appearances. Can the team go down, and get one of him, and disguise Lamar and get his <laughs> out of there? They got the girl and the Union guy off the planet easily. <sighs> See, that's the thing with the whole the whole disguise thingy. But they said that they had to play by their rules, so they were trying to play within the bounds of this world's. I think laws. Mercer limited himself when he talked to the Admiral, but I guess he had no choice. Yeah. The Admiral told him, you can't interfere. Because he was kind of hoping that the Admiral would give him the go-ahead, okay, get him off the planet. Yeah. Then if you would have given him the go-ahead, I think he might have maybe used those emitters. Yeah. Just because they do have cloaking technology. 
Yes. Remember, the ship did have a cloak yeah. on it. So I'm wondering if they have maybe even have personal cloaks. Yeah. That's why Mercer said it, and I've even mentioned in the previous podcast, they go, he didn't see, he says we can't take them off the ship, but he didn't say we couldn't take some off that planet to our ship. See, he played around the rules there. Yeah, so that's he, the thing. I know what he said, but I don't know what he implied. You know, come on, you know yeah, exactly. Exactly, I love that. Again, uh, same comment across. This episode was interesting. I liked how Mercer didn't lead the mission this time. So you got to see more of the B team members. Then you do not have any information at all on what was going on. They just let a pair of uh, archaeologists take uh, the shuttle down and blend in with no way out. Like, where did they hide the shuttlecraft in such a huge city? Also, the badge didn't make much sense because it was a fake button that didn't immediately find out uh, to be legit badge number tied to him. And people to vote via their phones. They also didn't show how down votes can be removed. Does an individual get one vote tied to their personal vote? And it's permanent unless the person changes their mind that's the thing they didn't go into the particulars but when they went to that newsstand guy he goes oh it already has even the numbers on it so it'll be like a real person see but here's the thing though but wouldn't it have like like a social security number wouldn't it have been linked to a different person or well, was it completely generated right then I'd and there i probably generated right then and there and again there's society i bet you there's a lot more hacks inside that we even realize is you know a lot more people don't want to get that 10 million votes so i'm pretty sure there's a lot of manipulating on that we don't know about see that's another aspect and the point you made about why they let him go there without knowing my information or even telling the Orville crew? That's the only point where I could see, yeah, that was the only negative of this episode. Yeah, it was, they were, it was minor, they, they wanted to focus more on the whole story of this yeah. world and then they kind of glazed over the science a little bit. A and little I bit. Kinda, I kind of see the whole thing about the voting. What if you change your mind? Is yeah. your vote permanent? I think so. Again, what, again, I'm assuming you could push the button once and it's tied to like your social security number or something. I'm sure, I'm sure so you only get all of it. one vote per topic. Yeah, and that's another thing, too, now that you mentioned it. Another uh, commentary you can bring up. Um, you, now the government has all your information all the time when you vote on this. Now they know all. See, that's even another thing that's kind of invasion of privacy. That'd be a, that's, a, that's a nice, easy way to, to, to weed out dissenters. Yeah, exactly, right? Or all of a sudden make them have a, a bunch of negative votes. Oh, we'll just vote so we can just get them corrected. But remember, we're just we're just building a database just for information, not for anything else. Like, you know, yeah. maybe confiscating an item that you might have. Exactly. Oh, no, we're, we're doing it to be nice, right? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Scoldworm. It's theoretically possible for 100% of people to be wrong. One person. Is there an asteroid coming towards us? Person two. Nah, it's not. The majority of the votes said it's harmless. Or here comes the asteroid. Yeah, exactly, right? It is possible for people to be wrong. Yeah, exactly. And especially when you're, you're voting based purely on emotion. Yep. And that's where a lot of this thing is coming from, emotion. Let's see how many more comments we got. Okay, I, I can finish them all off. We're going to be a little bit longer, but we'll get them all in. Uh, Brad... Edvinbold? Again, I apologize. Nice, guys. Nice review. I I get a kick how much you two have fun making the videos. Here's a question. They never explain how the up and down badges actually work. What's to stop a person from just giving yourself upvotes all the time? Because everybody can give you an up or a down. Also, you do know that the popular vote is just a little right because it literally means the most votes, which is how every other country in the world that likes their leaders... We need to get rid of the Electoral College. This is the time that we had slaves, for God's sakes. Okay, I'm sorry for the rant. Go, Orville. Uh, that's the thing. It's not just as, oh, because every state's different. Every state deserves to have yeah. a voice. Mm -hmm. You can't just, you know, jam the ballot box in California to drown out all the voices of the Midwest. That's not That's yeah. not fair. Yep. We tried. It's the, is it perfect? But it's the most perfect way we can yeah, get it. Uh, the, 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 pres the person who becomes president has to win multiple regions. You just can't win one region. All you only have to do is win cities at that point. Yeah, exactly. Like, again, you're, you're really just the president of California and Houston. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that's... <laughs> and Chicago and New York City. Yeah, pretty much. Now, that literally, so the, those people's voices in those cities literally are more important than everyone else's. Yeah. So you have to make that balancing act so, you know, Rhode Island can have a voice. And, yeah. you know, and I get it. It's On paper, it, just, it sounds good. But the founding fathers had the wisdom to see otherwise on that. And then going back to the to the actual up and down votes, I'm assuming when you press someone's vote, maybe it reads your thumbprint. Yeah, that's what I said. Something. It gets your information. That's why I was mentioning in the previous comment, like that's not a good thing either. They have all your information like that. And then you know the argument that the Lord College back when we had slave times. Well, the Constitution was before that too. We get rid of it because it's old. No, it works. But again, it, there's a big long conversation with multiple people talking there. Yeah. And then um, uh, a republic is a form of democracy. It's coming from time like old one. Uh, a, a word as old as democracy is bound to have multiple meetings. Yeah, I know, but we can only go for what it means today, now. So a democratic republic is what we're using yes. in this in this state, in this country. Yeah. So that that covers pretty much all the comments. There is more there that we're in. You know, again, I just eh, we're getting political, but the episode was political, so I apologize if it felt like we're you know grandstanding or doing anything like that. Yeah. But 
when it comes to this kind of stuff, it does get a little heated. I try to be as I'm true to myself, try but to I don't want to. I don't want to call shout people down or anything yeah. like that. I don't like that. But I also don't like name calling. But if you're gonna come out with a very, I want to say aggressive stance, and you're calling your, you can't do this, you can't defend this, and that's so stupid. When you start talking like that. I either laugh and ignore you, or I come back. I come at you just as hard as you're coming. Yeah, at Yeah, and then it gets to the point where you just keep going. And then, the then we kind of have like a that. shouting match back and forth yeah. again. I would love to have a conversation face to face, like a real debate. Like a again, you see a lot of these times, you know, like a Ben Shapiro debate. They, these people write beautiful arguments on the internet. They get up on stage. They're stammering. They don't have their so facts. Because it's hard. Because you, when you you're doing that. it face to face, there's no copy and paste. Yeah, exactly. So um, thanks for all the comments. Um, I'm so happy we got it. we're getting to season two, the new oh, episode. I'm real excited. It's going to be airing in a little bit. And kind of funny that we're this episode up and down because this very thing on YouTube, I'm just saying you'd have up and down votes. Yeah. So it's kind of funny thinking about And just that. so everyone's knowing, we, we usually get more up votes than down votes. I, I know, but I thought it was funny. And it's just kind of a funny thing that, but, but oh no, someone didn't like my YouTube video. Okay, but, but in this not, world, not. you can be arrested. Well, yeah, I know there's some people in the SAW and PC culture would, that would love to correct people if they got a lot of down votes. Believe yeah. me, they would. There'd be so many people literally being arrested for their thoughts and yeah. ideas. But you know what's funny? For the most part, most people that that that, that you know they get hammered on YouTube for not being like that usually don't get that many downloads. So that's kind of a little it's because it's just it, it's just one of those funny things. And I'm glad uh, discussion is always good. Yeah. Even discussions where you guys don't agree with us, that's fine. That's yeah, that's. Um, we're not changing anyone's mind. You're not changing yeah. our mind, and we're not changing your mind. We're but just we are talking. We're just talking. Yeah. And you know. Go ahead. Don't again. I'm not telling, discouraging anyone from saying what you think and feel. Yeah. But remember how you're writing. Don't don't come in accusing people of things. Don't go be calling people stupid. And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna just ignore your argument. So the new episode is gonna be airing in a few hours. Um, yeah. I'll try to get this up before. It might be up after the episode, but I'm gonna be working super hard to get this done. We're seeing Thor tonight. tonight we're, just excited. we're watching New Orville episode tonight, so we're gonna have a ton of stuff to do. Oh yeah. But um, again, thanks for all the comments. Um, I've been your host, Crimson Sin. I'm 15, M15 PCA. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.